to the village for your stepsister's traditional wedding. Tomorrow? My parents have been calling me to come so we can do the final preparation. Anyways, but that's why I came back to collect money from you so I can buy the things I'll be using for my travel. If wishes were real, our traditional wedding would have followed immediately after theirs. Your what? Eh? Your what? God forbid. Come, if it's a cause, reject it though. How can you say a thing like that? How do you mean, Sylvia? Are you trying to tell me that if I propose to you today, you turn me down? Is that what you're saying? I will not only turn you down. I will roam as far as my leg can carry me. I take that as a joke. A big joke. I am not joking. I am damn serious. Listen to me, my dear. Sylvia is a woman with ambition. I did not just go to school to come out and marry a man that graduated um, for five years cannot even rent an apartment for himself. Come, I am so beautiful for all that. So we are the only thing permanent in life is change. And my life could change for the better tomorrow. Take a very good look at me. This is a Brazilian hair. 24 inches. A D and G. Watch my phone. So are you telling me that I should be sitting every day listening to this your cock and bull story that I should get married to you? Sylvia. I love you. I truly love you, Sylvia. Let us wait when it changes okay let us wait so can i have the money now Sylvia, so it's it's ten thousand naira. please manage it ten thousand do you see what i'm talking about you cannot even afford me. 10,000 naira to do what with it? Is it to go to the village with wheelbarrow or what? Tell me what I should be doing with 10,000 naira. Sylvia, so, you, you know my salary is just 50,000 naira and I've given you part of it. Just manage it. I don't care if your salary is 5,000 naira. Okay? All I need is a man who can take good care of me. See, in fact, I'm just, I've had it up to here with you. Hmm? I'm going to the village and by the time I come back, I will be having a rethink of this so-called relationship that both of us have because I can no longer stay in this relationship. Please. I'll tell you what that is. Well, I brought the filth of the house to the sitting room so that my always absentee wife will see them firsthand when she returns from our almighty job. Come on, darling. This, 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 this is childish. Come on. It's so childish. Childish? Did you just say childish? Did I hear you say childish? You know what? I have had it, okay? I've had it with doing the dishes. I've had it with doing the chores when I have a wife. Now, my next question to you is this. Where are the clothes I took to the dry cleaners that you were supposed to return? You forgot. I'm not surprised you forgot because you always forget everything anyways. Look, I have had it, okay? I have seriously, seriously had it. Now, measure the density. Measure the density of the dust on the furniture and on the electronics. And look me in the face again and tell me I am being childish. I'm sorry, please. I'm so sorry. I... You know what? That thing you just said right now, in my ears sounded so hollow. Just 
stupid. Hey, 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 now tell me, Vivian, who do you prefer to be married to? Your bank job or me? Baby, we've discussed this before and even after our wedding tomorrow. And came to yeah. what conclusion? What conclusion, Vivian? Remember what the doctors told you? Remember? We should always be together. We should stay together. We should make love together so we can have a child. Is this how we're going to have a child? Is it? Tell me. When your almighty bank takes care of you, you're always having the intercourse with your bank. Tell me, baby. I, your husband, I am telling you to quit this job and take care of this house. Before I married you, this house was yearning for a woman's attention. Right now, it is yearning for your presence. It is screaming for your presence and attention. It is all about the money you're making in the bank. Forget about it. Because I can take care of you. Know. You know. You know. So why are you still doing this? Why? I am telling you, be there for me. Be there for this house. Be there for our forthcoming children. Is that too much for me to ask from you, Vivian? No, darling. No. But you know that I cannot just be an idle house. Why? I can't. Then look for a less time-consuming job that will allow you to take care of your domestic responsibilities. If you want private business, fine, I will do that for you. Baby, I love my job. Please, I really do love. I cannot just... Hey, 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 hey. Just, just stop. So Richard, how was it at your workplace today? Uncle Fino, and um, how was your day today? Couldn't have been better. Um, Richard, John sent uh, the complete documents for your UK visa application. Uncle? <laughs> Uncle, th th thank you very much. No Uncle, God will bless you. What can I say, Uncle? Don't say anything. You see, Richard, when your mother and your father died in a ghastly auto crash, you were barely two years old. I made a promise at their graveside that I would give you the same opportunity with my own kids. And I think to the best of my knowledge, I've kept to that promise. Yes, sir. You see, my three daughters are doing wonderfully well with their husbands. And my son, John, is doing okay in UK. And I think I have to give you the same opportunity. Richard, I can't afford to see you doing all these menial jobs, low paying. For the past five years you graduated from the university, nothing to show from it. And I think a better opportunity outside Nigeria will be okay for you. That's why John has sent all the documents that you need for your visa application to UK. Uncle. I will make good use of those opportunities. Uncle, 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 I, I, I never knew I could travel. Richard, prepare yourself for the challenges of the house. Your guy is about hitting it big, very big, I'm telling you. How do you mean? You want a contract from the oil company? Oil company? Babe, oil company is a toy now. This guy you're seeing here is a potential British resident. All I'm waiting for is just my ballet and it will soon reach my hand. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Are you trying to tell me that you applied for a British visa without letting me know? Babe, I did not apply. It came to me like a surprise also. Mm -hmm. See, immediately they just broke the news to me. I just ran down here to just, just, just inform you. Really? I'm telling you. You think you have done well, right? Hi, babe. Babe, you're talking to a Yankee boy. You understand? Uh, we all feel bad now. Eh? So what's happening? And now you're going to leave me here and go at this? For, for what? Eh? <laughs> Not because I leave you. I can't now, you, you. So, 
he wants to go and leave me. Ha, ah, that miserable bastard. Anyways, before you go, you must settle me for all the whole psychocro things where I don't do with you. Richard is traveling abroad. Look, my dear, you're not even making sense. I don't understand where you're coming from. One minute, you do not want to marry him. The next minute, you are interested. Look, tell me what's in the itchy up first. Richard is traveling abroad to leave me alone in this country. Richard won't leave me. Go abroad, go stay. He told us you both girls. <laughs> Is that your problem? <laughs> eh? Oh, okay. You have suddenly stopped being the... What do you call that again? Special um, SA arrangement or whatever you call it. Mm. So one. now Oyimbo girls now won't threaten you like this one did. They believe that one SA in a different level with that. This one another level. Eh? See, Richard, now better capital move. <laughs> you don't go figure like that now. Then check me now. Eh? Take a very good look at me. See me, Richard, go believe me for this country. Go to follow the book girls. Because abroad, no good for me. Yankee, no good for me. Now here, good for me. Make all this sun, they harm my body. Now wait till they try to talk, Abby. But let me advise you, as a friend. Hmm? Do not give Richard the impression that you are suddenly interested in him because he wants to go abroad. You know how guys, they think. You understand? Take it step by step. That is it. Mm. If you would take my advice, so. Natusha, I understand it, but no worry. You have any plans? Ah, yeah. <laughs> Even if I get plans, if I go tell you where it be a little borrow, borrow, borrow. Tell me your plans. Make borrow go that side. Oh, go, okay, go okay. open my secret. No, my hala now. You know what I'm making? Sweetheart. Baby, um, your food is ready. Served. <laughs> What's the time? Uh, come on, darling. You know, I came back like past nine, so... From where? Work. Well, as usual, Madam Banker Wifey of mine, your husband has had his supper at a fast food restaurant. Thank you. <laughs> Sweetheart, please. Maybe... Um, I'm sorry. You know, Vivian, when someone keeps doing the very thing that makes her apologize all the time and say sorry, that word actually loses its meaning. Now my suggestion to you is you find some other word that will help you express how much you feel about what you're doing to me in this house. Please, darling, come on, you've just got, you've got to understand. I understand. <laughs> Vivian, if I understand you one more time with regards to this issue, God might even change my name to Mr. Understanding. And baby, I don't like that name one bit. not a polite way to say welcome to someone's husband-to-be. What? Besides, you forgot that you gave me your spare key the last time we made love. See, but you get this heat, go to your key. Mr. Man, will you shut up? <laughs> Parasites like you don't talk when lions are talking. I want you to get out from this house before I lose my time. As you can see, her man is here. Tell Savior, you hurt me so bad. I'm sorry. I'm 
sorry. Get out! Richie! 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 <laughs> Woo! That's so good! Yeah. Oh my god! That's the way it's supposed to be! Really? Uh huh. Okay, let me just go in. Let's go in. No problem. I'm waiting right here for you. Um, Who is he? Pascal is my stepsister's husband's friend that lives in America. He's actually a businessman. He's asking for my hand in marriage. And you accepted? No. Then how come he knew where you live? And came into the house and insulted me before you? And Sylvia, how? I never showed him where I live. Probably my mom did. Because everybody has been disturbing me to get married to him. That I should leave you. What? Is it because of the money? They want to take you away from me. And you're playing along with them. I am not playing along with them. If I am playing along with them, I will not be here. To tell you everything that has been happening, okay? This guy has been on my neck, asking me to marry him, but I said no. I don't love Pascal. It is you I love. Sylvia, I have told you times without numbers that I love you and I want to marry you. It's not all about you loving me. It's about commitments. You need to come and do something. Commit. I mean, pay my bride price. Do something. You know? My parents have been pressurizing me to leave you and marry him. See, I know this is 21st century, okay? But I don't need to start listening to my parents. Richard, I am 28 years old. 28. I am no longer a baby. Listen to me, Sylvia. That guy, Pascal, will not marry you. I, Richard, will. We'll go to your people once I collect my monthly salary. And we'll tell them, as soon as I get to London, the first money I earn, I will use it and marry you. I promise you that. Are you serious? Oh. I'm serious, Sylvia. Oh. I love you. From my heart. From my body and soul. And I love you more. You know what? <laughs> CNN showed this beautiful resort where Michelle Obama and her daughters will be going for their summer holiday. It is so perfect, God, like beautiful. I told Daddy about it. And guess what Daddy said? Yes. <laughs> um, he said that um, he'll be sponsoring our next trip to the resort for our next summer holiday. <laughs> Isn't that perfect? Isn't that beautiful? God, like they had sleeping slides, swimming pool, you know, fountains, gardens. It's so pre. Sweetie. Sweetie. <laughs> Didn't you hear what I said? Sugar. On the chair there are the clothes that I shared when I was leaving for work in the morning and on this unkept bed are the ones that you shared probably when you wanted to have a bath in the morning and I'm just wondering did you did you go somewhere today? No. I mean why, why are you asking? Well I am asking because the look of this 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 room doesn't suggest that someone was at home today. I mean what, what were you doing all day? Baby, baby, come here. Listen, baby. Come here, baby. Listen. I mean, that shouldn't just give you that expression on your face, okay? 
<laughs> is it that reason why you made this kind of face? Your expression is so funny. You know what, baby? Help me tidy up this room while I watch TV. What? I love you. Baby, wait, 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 wait. I, I should, I should, I should do what? Yeah, baby, I've been watching this very interesting movie on TV, and this is the last episode. I have to watch it. Baby, I've um, given recent events in this marriage um, serious thoughts and I came to one reasonable conclusion. Which is? We get a maid in the house. To do what for us? Um, baby, to run the house, you know, mop, clean, um... Ah, oh, yeah, 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 I get it. Um, you need a maid to clean the house. Yes. Take care of the house. Mm -hmm, yes. Cook the meals. Mm -hmm. And uh, probably, you know, fill in the blank space you leave often by my side, right? Huh? <sighs> Baby, come on. You're taking this whole thing out of context. No. I mean, you know that our busy schedule requires the presence of a maid in this house. You know that. Come on, darling. Look, Vivian. Mm -hmm. This marriage is too young. It's less than six months old. Now, it's too early for another person to become part of it. Even in form of a maid or whoever. Do the right thing, Vivian. And let us enjoy this marriage in peace. Baby, <laughs> you, you don't even care about how I feel about quitting my job. You don't, you don't care about that. I mean, the only reason why I need a maid is so she can help with all this cleaning. I, I can always be there. I mean, I'll be there to make your meals. Yes, I'll cook it myself. But all she's going to do is just microwave them and serve them for you when you get back from work. Vivian, I'll be there Vivian, to take care of your personal Vivian, needs, baby. Vivian, I want to ask you a question. <sighs> do you actually care how I feel about your being on that job? No. Look, I married you because I love you. I need you, not a maid or a microwave. I want children, Vivian. Sylvia, when did you get this letter? This afternoon. From the look of things, I think my parents have accepted Pascal with his parents. Without your consent? It doesn't matter. See, the letter has said everything. Okay. I wanted to tell them that you have a suitor. I am ready to marry you. It's no longer you want to marry me. It's about you coming to do something, okay? Besides, how is it going to sound that my so-called boyfriend is traveling to abroad maybe when he might have made money he will come back to pay my bride price Sylvia, so i don't bed. want to lose you to anyone and not to that so-called bastard that insulted me right in this house i don't want to lose you darling you will not lose me okay i love you and i will stay just just you have to come so we can go to the village and perform the marital rites that's what we have to do um, with which money? Sylvia, unless you want us to do a quiet wedding. A quiet wedding? No, 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 no. I can't accept that. I don't want a quiet wedding. I don't even think my parents want that. Come, look, look at what my stepsister did at her own wedding. And they will not be expecting Sylvia of all people to come and do that kind of wedding you want to talk about now, please. Or unless you want us to forget about this. No, 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 no. Uh, we, we can't forget about this. It, it, it's okay. It's okay. Whatever it takes, I'm going to look for the money. And I'm going to give you a wedding that will make you happy that you will never forget. Mm. I'll look for the money. Sylvia, I love you. And whatever that will make you happy, I'm ready to do it. I want to marry you. Good boy. 
That's what I was expecting you to say. Well, you won't kill me either. I won't. <laughs> Richard, our savior, I give my consent for you to get married because I feel you love yourself. The problem now is I'm not financially buoyant to support you. So Richard, how do you raise the money for the wedding? Uncle, I understand your worries. But I assure you, we're going to pull through it. How? Uncle, I don't know, but I believe we will. Sylvia, why are you pressurizing him into this marriage? Uncle, it's not me. It's my parents. Your parents? Yes. Give me the address. Let me talk to them. Um, Uncle, my family are such a private people. They wouldn't like me discussing our family issue outside. Uncle, uh, please. I would want us to... Respect our opinion. Please, uncle. Respect our opinion? Look, marriage is not a contest. It's not a competition. Marriage is a lifetime enterprise. You either go into it or you leave it. There is no emotional attachment to it. Huh? Come on, Richard. Are you sure you are not making a big mistake? Uncle, she loves me enough. Uncle. If she doesn't love me that much, she, she would not tell me about Pascal. She would have just gone ahead and uh, do the marriage behind my back. But she told me, Uncle, I know she loves me so much. Uncle, please, just let us get married. Are you sure you're not making a mistake? Uncle, I am sure I am not making any mistake. Okay. I've paid my point. Heaven be my witness. Thank you very much. Thank you, Uncle. Hey, fool. I get them married. Tell me, how was work today? Oh, work? Yes. <laughs> work was hectic. Oh, believe baby. me. And I'm so, so famished. Oh, you are famished? Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. <laughs> hey, you know what? What? Nothing could be as alluring to me mm. right now as a smile on your face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and okay. the sweet aroma coming from the kitchen. You know, really, yeah. seriously, um, I wanted to make something really special for you today. Okay. Very, very special. Okay. Eba and a gosi soup. Mm. Yeah, I, I tried so hard. I mean, I, I was in the kitchen for hours, but I couldn't make it. So I gave up and called the security man to help me put things together and fix us a meal. <laughs> oh, wait. You're pulling my legs, aren't you? <laughs> pulling your legs? I mean, why should I pull your legs, baby? Excuse me? What? Are you nuts? <laughs> no, 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 wait, wait, seriously. I mean, how could you, how could you call in who? A freaking security man to make the food that you and I are going to eat? <laughs> wait, 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 just take it easy. I mean, you just said that you love the aroma coming from the kitchen. I'm sorry, it's a good idea. <sighs> you know what, baby? If you don't like it, you can um, go down the street. There's a restaurant on the street. You know, eat something or have a takeout. Okay? I am. I am really tired. I have walked around this whole house, this big house. Baby, I'm tired. I need to rest. Okay? I'm sorry, baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me go back to my book.
Stephen. Where are you coming from at this time of the night? It's past midnight. From the nightclub, baby. What? I do not... God, I don't know you to be the kind of man that would go out at night to the club, not to be able to come get it drunk. Well, you drove me to drinking and hanging out late. That's a very cheap excuse. For Christ's sake, Stephen, you're a married man. You're married. I know. I know. <laughs> and where was my wife when I came back early hours of this evening? She was dutifully married to her bank job. So I in turn went out and got myself dutifully married to some loyal bottles of alcohol. Baby, you're, you're tearing my heart apart. Are you mending my... Our marriage is dying, Vivian. Do something to save it. How did it go? Perfectly as planned. Wow. My God. Oh my God, you were so good. You know, Richard's uncle and I just came back from the village two days ago. Um, we actually went to do the final marital ride. Splendid. <laughs> I am very glad to hear that. Congratulations, my baby. Thank you. So, what did you tell him about me finally? Of course, what are you expecting me to say to him? I told him you've gone back to the States. Smartier. <laughs> so, 20,000 your balance mm -hmm. here. Okay. So, how about the other one? Don't worry, I've already paid for room and are you ready now? I am fully prepared for it. Mm. <laughs> Believe me, this is going to be the last time. <laughs> and I am going to make it a very memorable one for you. So, let's check it out. Wow. Yeah, I actually went in there to pick your charger for my phone. I saw the room in a mess and I tidied it up a little bit. Oh, 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 thank you very much for that. You know, my wife, she had this appointment with her doctor, so she had to, you know, go out in a hurry. That's why the whole place is. But thanks for that. I hope it's not something serious. No, no, you're good, you're good. You're good, right? All right, cool. I'll be with you in a minute. Yeah, creamy sugar. I told you in the morning that Nick, my brother, will be visiting us from Lagos and you should keep the place clean and at least have something good for him to eat. What happened? Yeah, I'm with some of my old friends from Harvard that just came into the country. We had endless fun relaxation center. So much fun that you forgot to clean the house on a day we're having a visitor. I mean, I'm in the kitchen right now and there is absolutely nothing for him to eat and he's very hungry. I, I know, sweetie, I know. But I'm with my friends. I've not seen them for three years, baby. <laughs> you would not imagine how much fun we're having here. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 gee, please, please just hold it. Hold it right there. Because I'm not in the mood for jokes right now. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry, baby. I'm so sorry about the living room. Have you cleaned it up? Oh, well, I take your silence to mean that you have. Oh, Christ. What, what, what have I gotten myself into? Richard, are you crazy? You want to collect such a huge loan, not for a business reason, but to sponsor your wedding and rent the house for Sylvia. 
Richard, what is that girl feeding you with? Why are you so stupid? Tell me what has come over you. I have not told you everything and you started by... Oh, will you keep quiet and tell me no more? You are under a spell. Sylvia is not a winch. And I consider your last statement as a cheap insult. Will you shut up? How dare you sit before me and tell me to stop insulting that slut of a girl? Are you mad? You slapped me. And I will do more of it, Richard. I will do more. Do you remember I'm 30 years old? I saw what? And at 30, I'm old enough to take my own decisions, irrespective of what you think. Richard? I know what the problem is. It's because I have made you part of my life. Good Jack. I'm going to take that loan and I'm going to get a house for myself and Sylvia. I'm going to arrange my wedding and when the documents come out for me to travel, I'll travel and bother you no more. Richard, you are destroying your life. It's my life. Let me live. Congratulations, madam. Yeah, thank you, sir. Um, <laughs> thank you. What is it, madam? Um, no, nothing actually. Um, you know, I'm just so overwhelmed by the promotion. I'm really excited about everything. Thank you. I am glad for you too. Yes, thank you. You are one of my most hardworking staff. <laughs> Once again, congratulations. Thank you very much. Richard, sir, sir. I had hundred thousand dollars in this drawer as at this morning, and now some part of the money is missing. You are the only one that have access to my office or the drawer. So, what do you have to say about this, uh, uh, Chief? I, I, uh, I, I, I don't have anything to say, Chief. <laughs> Listen, young man, there are only two ways. It's either you own up this, or I will involve the police. Please, what? Talk to me. Richard, you whom I trusted so much. Then you will be the one to do me. Richard. Richard, I am highly disappointed in you. Now listen, where's my money? Where is my money? Chip, chip, see, the, uh, the, the, the two days I, I, I had some financial problems. And I, 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 I needed money so badly. So... <laughs> Uh, Where is it? I've uh, spent the money, Chief. Rubbish. You spend it. Okay. Don't just. Just. 
Is that the commission? Hey, chief, chief, please, now, chief, chief, please. Chief, 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 chief. Now tell me, what in the name of God got over you? Eh? Can you imagine me coming to the police station to take your bail like a common criminal? Explain this disgrace to me. Uncle, I, I don't know what came over me. You don't know what came over you? I know, Sylvia! And your crazy grand traditional wedding plan. That is what came over you, Richard. Uncle, uh, 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 leave Sylvia out of this. She's not part of it. Will you shut up? Richard, I raised you all from childhood. You never stole a pin from anybody. Your late parents never did in their lifetime. All of a sudden, you've become a thief. Stealing the whopping sum of 30,000 US dollars from a man who trusted you with his account for the past three years. Richard, why? Uncle, 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 I, I'm, I'm very sorry, Uncle. I, I'm, I'm very, very sorry. Uncle, please, please don't. Don't let Sylvia hear this. Why will you stop that? The earlier you leave that girl, the better for you. Leave her before she destroys you completely. She has a hidden agenda to destroy you. The much I've seen of her, she is not an ideal wife. She is not good for you as a wife, Richard. Think and think for your future. Good day. Please don't tell her, please. Yeah, oh, Uncle, please. My love. Baby, why are you so dressed early to this morning? I have an early morning flight to catch, darling. Flight? <laughs> you mean you're traveling and you didn't even bother to tell me? Well, the reason for my travel actually came up before the close of work yesterday. Sweetheart, that does not explain anything, does it? Are you angry? What time did you get back yesterday? Very late. And when you got back, I was sleeping, wasn't I? Now, like the dead, the sleeping don't talk. But baby, you should have called me at work. You should have told me over the phone that you were traveling. Vivian, my father had six children before he died. He didn't run his marriage over the phone. God forbid I run mine in such manner. Baby, listen. It's not fair. Fair? Did you just say fair? Fair? You know, I'm so surprised and impressed that you have such word in your vocabulary. See you in four days when I get back, baby. I'm not even sick. I mean, at least not health-wise. Then about it is my, my husband and I have been fighting again. Uh -uh. Why? Uh, he says that I'm not being the ideal housewife, you know, and I go to work. Uh -uh. Yeah, how ideal housewife, I don't understand. I don't know, he just says that the house is filthy, that the bathroom, the kitchen, that everywhere. And, and Girl, I've even suggested that we get a maid to do this work because I have to go to work and no, he no, says no. No, 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 forget housemates. Chick, me and you, we know what's how far now with housemates. You know what they do these days, huh? What I would suggest for you is to get a house manager. <laughs> now we know, Kimi. <laughs> house manager. <laughs> Which one be house manager now? Eh? Simple. <laughs> okay. Listen, I'll wait now. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. House managers. Right? Yeah. Yeah. These are corporate bodies. You get, you bring them to your home to clean, maintain your house, do all the blah 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 shit. You understand? And then you pay them off professionally. These are not with brother, sister, this, that, that, my husband's, whatever. Uh -uh. Okay, okay, darling. Do you have any idea where we can, you know, see such an outfit? Mm, let me think. Mm, I think so. 
Guess what? Uh, I will. Oh, I'll, I'll fix an appointment for us to meet with this person. <laughs> Thank you. You're no, darling. <laughs> yeah, you guys, thank you. I'm sure my husband will love that idea. He will. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll fix it. Okay. So, what's up now? Okay. You don't look sick to me. I can't say that again. I don't know why you're still eating yourself up over what happened. Sylvia, as long as I've agreed to take the mess you and your mom put me into. See, my mom and I did not do anything, okay? Just forget about it, then let's talk about the future, okay? So there is no future, can't you see? There is no future at all. Eventually, I'm going to lose it to that so-called Pascal. It, 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 it's just clear, it's clear. If you don't want to lose me, baby, hmm? you have to look for money for our grand wedding. And before you go, you rent a duplex for me where I'm going to be staying while you're away. For sure, I'm going to look for the money for our wedding. But you could still manage with my uncle till I come back. Eh? Manage with who? My uncle. That your uncle that doesn't like me. Hi! Richard, it's today that I know you don't like me. Hey, go for Biba. Baby, uh, there's something I want to discuss with you. Listen. Baby, come on. You know, when you traveled a day before you traveled to Abuja, I was promoted to the post of the branch manager. And you know that's hey, I hey, 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 look, I don't want to hear it. Baby. I have discussed the problem that we're facing in this marriage um, with a colleague of mine. And just like you, she's also of the opinion that we do not, you know, employ a living maid. And she gave us a better suggestion. What? Maybe she said that we could, you know, employ like, um, like a house manager, a matured, educated house manager. We could just like run the house like two to three times a week. You know, just during the day, not a living maid, darling. It's very obvious. You've made up your mind to have someone run this house, then quit your job. Suit yourself, Vivian. Come on, darling. But your opinion is also really important. You like the idea, don't you? Yes, I do. Then go ahead, implement it. Okay, baby, that means that we have to, um, like, you know, advertise and... Uh, Vivian. I don't want to be part of it. Look, if you want to advertise, go ahead and advertise, okay? Interview whoever, employ whoever you deem fit for the job. After all, it's your job the person is coming to do, not mine. So, it's your call, my wife. It's okay, Richard. I saw it coming and I warned you, but you never listened to me. You don't need to cry. You have to pull yourself together. This is the time for you to start rebuilding what she destroyed in your life. Where do I start from? If I go looking for another job, who will employ me? With the bad repetition Sylvia led me into. Who? She did not take away your life. And don't forget the old saying, once there is life, there is hope. Hope. 
Where is the hope? I believe in miracles. And I'm sure you believe too. Richard, pull yourself together. You have to live your life. And the best way to do it is to forget that Sylvia ever exists. Wake up and live your life. I don't get it. Why would she be the overseer and I get to be the cleaner? Besides, I am the one who is related to you. That is the point. It is for this same reason of our being related that I am making you the cleaner for this particular job. I'm too close to Vivian. I do not want her to think I'm taking advantage of her. She doesn't even have the idea that I own a company. Besides, she is the graduate. This one you want us to do housemaid works. Point of correction. The word is corporate house managers. Okay? As it is, I am the one footing practically all the bills in this house. I think it's high time you two contributed. Do you have a problem with that? Come. How much are they even paying, sir? Enough. Enough to foot some bills in this house. Enough to provide legitimate work for the both of you. Why do I have to be the cleaner? Why? I seriously do not accept this arrangement. I don't. See, the house we are going to work, is it that they have rich young men there? I beg, I beg, I beg, just catch a break there. You hear? This one, a job, practically business. See, all work now, work now. Business now, business. That business they go do now. Eh, uh, just catch a break. I don't tell you finish. The truth. The truth is, I don't know the first thing about running a house. So I'll be needing your expertise to run this house for me. Uh, it's okay, madam. I want you to be rest assured that you have no problems. You know, we are specialists in this business. And I want you to meet um, Sylvia Achibong. Mm -hmm. She will oversee the business, the day-to-day -day business in this house. And then Juliet over here will assist her. So tell me, how is this done? Do you stay in or do I provide somewhere to? Oh no, madam. We shall come like, say, twice in a week. Yes. And then we shall be on call for emergencies. Oh. That's nice. Now, I understand you had a housemaid. Yes, I had house helps. But uh, my husband said that they're all useless. And he blames me for not supervising them. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Madam, just relax. Hmm? We are here for you. Thank you so much. Good. Um, <clears throat> sorry. We, are, we want to assure you that um, this house will get fixed in no time. Perfect. Are you okay? I'm okay, thank you so much for helping. Thank you. And nice meeting you. So, um, how many houses have you supervised? Have you? Why must you talk? Are you okay? Are you a fool? Shut up! You're doing this again, I don't like it. My friend, I don't I'm, like it. I'm a graduate. Eh? If you talk too much, eh, you, you meet your things outside.
Why are you pouring that water again? Eh? Why can't you pour the water on the car and wash it like a human being? Why are you always behaving like someone who's trained in the What? Uh -uh. What? What is what? My friend, watch that car. Hey! Hey! What's hey? If I'm talking, so you, if I talk now, you talk then. If I talk one, you talk then because you think you can talk back at me. Abi? Eh? You don't know I'm a graduate. You don't know? <laughs> I know yeah, you're a graduate. Yes. Graduate, my So you think because you're a graduate, you can talk to me anyhow, Abi? How better are you than me? How? We have more differences between both of us. Yes. I am a graduate. You are? Freaking stupid undergraduate. So I order you to wash this car. I tell you whatever I want you to do in this house is what you will do. Or else, or you will run as in before you know it, I will throw your things out of this compound. You know me. You know what I can do. So do whatever I ask you to do. If not, you will hear it from me. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You are mad. Stop it. You are really getting on mad. my nerves and I don't like it. Stop it. Yeah, I wash it. What's your problem? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? You're very stupid. Very, very stupid. If I'm talking, you're talking. Come and wash it. Look under this place. Come and wash it. It's very dirty. Bend down and wash it, my friend. Are you stupid? It's not true, I'm respectful. It's not true, I'm respectful. Stand there. Stand. Stand. Don't go down me. I will slap you. Slap me now. Slap me. Don't slap me. Slap me. Slap me now. Don't slap me. I don't blame you because I'm wearing this thing, huh? After all, the clothes befits you, so you are only doing your job. So um, I don't know. I don't know why you're getting upset, right? Just do what I ask you to do. Yeah. Yeah, I graduate, yeah. Good day, sir. Yeah, um, good day. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Um, were you about going out? Yes, um, the dry cleaner just called me that the clothes I gave to them the other day is ready. So I'm going over to pick them up. All right. Um, what about the house? Are you done with that too? Yes, um, the food is actually ready and it's on the dining table. All right, um, so I'll see you when you get back, huh? Okay. She just poses around day nothing. When we complain, she tells us that she's our supervisor. <sighs> well, as long as I do not agree with her sitting around and doing nothing, you girls have to endure. She is a superior for God's sake. No, guess. I don't accept. How could you take preference to her because she's your classmate? Why? Rita, I have told you before. She is not just my classmate. She has a degree. So? Okay, you girls do not have a degree. That's the reason I made her your superior. As long as you people do not have one, I'll keep giving her the preferences. I'll be waiting there inside. But sister, since you are getting new clients and employing new people, why don't you transfer us to another place and allow her to supervise those you have employed? It's okay. Okay? It's okay. I'm going to do something about it. But you girls have to promise me something. Yes. From now on, no troubles. No troubles. Fine. But if you look for my trouble, I will give her. You see, Rita? She is yourself she's now. She's the one giving her yeah. yourself. Oh. oh. Good day, ma'am. Hey, guys. You're still here? No, um, I just noticed some of the things in the kitchen. I finished, so I stayed back to collect some money from you so I can get them tomorrow when I'm coming. Oh, okay, no, darling. You should have just asked my husband to give you the money. <laughs> I thought that wouldn't be a good idea 
for you. No, darling, that's your job you're doing. Anyway, where is he? Um, he's not yet back. Okay, that's true. He said he had a party to attend today, a birthday party or so. Anyway, girl, it's um past nine, so I don't think you can go nights pretty late. So you can stay over and tomorrow you get the money and get the grocery stuff, okay? I don't, don't worry, come on. It's okay, you're like a friend right now, you can stay over, no problem. Okay, well, it's just that I don't have my nightwear. I should have spares and, okay, your size, let me see. Um, I think I should have something that will fit you. Okay, so come on, let me go look for something for you to change it. Besides, I need the company and everything, I'll be here waiting for my husband alone. Come on. But no, 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 I didn't have my woman by my side. Uh, I was the old man now. Be sincere, apology. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, darling. I'll make it up to you. I will. You promise? Yes, baby. Yeah, I promise. Stop. Promise. 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 Good evening, sir. I, I just came to show you the clue. Nice. Go. Manager, the housekeeper, the, the girl that takes care of our stuff. And, um, no, I told why? her to stay over because it was too late for her to go home and stop. Security, darling. Security. Mm -hmm. Never mind, Jay. Okay. You need to go inside. Come on. Yeah. Let's go to the room. Come on. Come on. How come you didn't tell me she was Please. staying over? Please. Look for girls who said you. What are you doing here? And why didn't you knock? I'm sorry. I actually came to tell you that your food is ready. Nice party. Tell me, is it because I am living in this house or what? My dear, that has nothing to do with it. The fact is you are not being fair to Richard. Richard is my boyfriend here, not yours. So it's none of your business. But well, sister, it's true. But Richard was here some days ago, shedding tears like a baby. My friend, shut up your mouth because it's not my fault that Richard is not buoyant enough to take care of me. Okay? He's not man enough, so it's none of my business. Babes. I hope you realize that whatever goes around comes around. This is why you're treating this guy like this. If he gets to treat you back, hope you're ready for it. Tell me, how is it your business? Eh? Where do you consign you inside? I don't tell you to make you know they put mark for my matter. I've told you time without number. What is your business now? You know, Sylvia, I am leaving Vivian and Nelly's house to you. Okay? I'm going to transfer Rita and Julia to another house. Are you okay with that now? Today's meeting is actually the first high-profile meeting that I will be attending as the chief executive manager. And also the first meeting with the American businessman. And you know what that means. Yeah, no, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just, I just can't wait to wrap it up and just seal that contract. <laughs> oh, sweetie, seriously, yeah. like, are you nervous? Like, you sound like you're Nervous? Yeah. Me? Yeah. Hell no, baby. Are you sure? Ah, oh, nah, you Not know nervous? me. I'm the man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell me, tell me. Mm, how do I look? Hmm. Oh, wait, wait. You look um, irresistible. You look perfect. I mean, I am so lucky. And fat. <laughs> of course, you look fat. <laughs> 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 you miss that. Yeah, baby. <laughs> 
You know, what's the, I think you should go to work. You know, I can do this all day. No, stop it. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. It's just that, um, please, if you may permit me for the kind of function you said you are attending today, that tie is of color. Yeah, you know, they say if you want success, you look successful. But if you may permit me, please, I want to change him into something else. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, tell me, what do you know about fashion? I know a lot about fashion. I don't know, just permit me, just give me only one minute to do what I've got to do. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, so you know, I, I think she has a point. Anything for the contract, baby. Let, let's just give her a chance. All right. Uh, I've got a couple of these things there. Just, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Pick up anyone, let's see. Uh, okay, just okay. do your thing, all right? This? Yeah, 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 baby. Yeah, baby, just hurry up, okay? I'm running late. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Oh, 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 wait, wait. You know, I, I, I think I'll just wear this one. What are you still doing in my house? See, well, I, I, I still love you. What is happening between both of us is not good for us. See, well, marriage is for better, for worse. Marriage is for better, for worse. For better, for me, yes. For worse, I am not part of it, okay? But see, tell me, how much do you even have in that your account that every time you keep telling me you love me, this, you want to do this, you want to do that? I... Uh... I, I have 12,000 naira now, but um, ju ju just 12,000 naira for now. 12,000 naira? You are a fool, idiot. That's what you are. You want to use 12,000 naira to take care of me? Eh? As far as I am. I, I, I'm still searching for a job and I'm sure I'm going to get one. I know I'll get one. With the excellent record you had in your last job. Sylvia, what I did in my last job, I did it because of you. You are, a, you are an idiot. Did I put the pistol on your head to steal from your boss? You did that willingly. I never put a pistol on your head, okay? So. Okay, Sylvia. I didn't do it because of you. I did it because of me. I, I, in fact, I just wanted to impress the world. I, I, I'm really sorry. It's not because of you. Please, I don't want to see you anywhere in my compound again. I wouldn't want to go in and come out and still meet you here. You're a bad egg, a thief. I cannot marry a thief. Sylvia, what did you just call me? You are a thief. Are you not a thief? On your sheep. That's what you are. Me, Richard, a thief. In my household, I'll deal with you, this boy. Go. What happened to you? Sylvia. Sylvia? You mean that girl entered this compound and did this to you? No, I, I went to her house. You did what? I, I, I went to see if I could talk to her so she could come back into my life. Will you shut up, you useless boy? You mean after all she did to you, you went back to her house? 
You have disappointed me. It, it, it might sound silly to you, but I really love her uncle. Richard, you are a man without honor. You are a shame to this family. You are visionless, no direction. You are completely stupid. Please, get out of my sight. You disgust me. I say, out of my sight! Look at... You are very, very stupid and useless. Completely useless. Hey, oh my God. Sir, here is your tea. Um, I don't want it. But, sir... Look, I said I don't want tea. Take it away. No. Hey, come back here. Um, tell my driver to get my computer from the car. Jesus Christ. No, no. Is this gold? God! These are millions of naira worth of gold. Sylvia, this is a great opportunity of a lifetime you have been looking for. Get the hell out of here with this and it's goodbye to poverty. With the proceeds you will make from selling them, you can go anywhere of your choice. Anywhere you want to have the kind of life you want you can attract any man of your choice and do the other ones oh yeah 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 what are you doing with my wife's jewelry Stealing from us, right? No, no. I'm yeah, that's what you're doing. You actually came to this house to steal. No, I'm. I'm sorry. You're sorry. I'll tell you when you'll be sorry. After the police come and get you, you came here to steal. I don't condone such rubbish. Stealing in my house. Absolute nonsense. Calling in the police. Come to enjoy this. What's, what's the meaning of this? Look, look, hey, hey, look, we, we don't, 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 Hmm. That's so nice hearing that from you. Is it? Yeah. So, 
tell me. Why did you try stealing Vivian's jewelry? Mm -hmm. Money. You see, I actually need money to sort out my problems. Mm. Anyways, I'm sorry. So tell me, are you going to help me out? Hmm? In exchange for what? Sex. Anytime you want it. I will give it to you. Really? Yeah. Well, I want one now, huh? Hmm. Not too fast. Come on, babe. Take it easy. If you want another one, that means you'll be paying for it. Hmm. How much? 30,000 naira. All right, I'll give you the money. Just for one round. One round? Mm. Oh, not so fast. Come on. I want it in check. Why? I say I don't like carrying cash around. Okay, uh, you get the check, huh? Okay. Keep a checkbook at the house. Very heavy. So it's um, 30,000. Yeah. Is your surname still? Yeah. Silver. Achibong. Achibong. Yeah. twist of event. It's almost unbelievable. 30,000 Naira? Check for just a round of sex. Who's? Truly, there is no limit to what a pretty woman can get with what she has in between her legs. Alvis? Oh, why not? After all, his wife has been such a ton in my ass. Like Vivian, she is never around and alive to her duties as a wife. And that makes her husband my toy to play with too. Fact is that I have discovered a gold mine and I will never stop digging, not anytime soon. Oh, sweetie, guess what? What? My father called to say that um, he'll be getting yet another title in the kingdom and he wants me to come over for the preparation. Nelly, for God's sake, you are now someone's wife. I mean, if your father wants you to do anything for him, he should consult me first, not you. But I'm his daughter, not you, baby. What? He just wants me to just come over and just be with him during the process. Is anything wrong with that? Look, Nelly. I know the tremendous contribution that your father made in my life, but the fact remains that I am legally married to you, all right? So I demand some respect. I ain't no being too melodramatic about this whole oh, thing. You take my freaking foot. I have my honor. You talk about honor, huh? Honor. Listen to me, darling. A man without money in his pocket has no honor. My father gave you all the money and all the affluence, and that gave you honor. Oh, really? Yes. All right, fine. You can sit there and mumble all that bullshit and insult me all you want, but the point is, your father has to consult me first, and that is final. Mm -hmm. Sweetie, I'll be leaving your house before 8 a.m. tomorrow. Try stopping me, and my lawyers will hand you the divorce papers. 
And you know what that means? It means that whatever you got from my father will be taken away from you. I just want you to just take a moment and think about this. Think about your life before you met me. And make a choice. Have a nice day. Um, Rita, I know you hate me for this. No, no matter how I feel something for you, my heart still belongs to, to Sylvie. Richard, um, I like you as a friend, and your happiness is what matters to me. But I know I am never spoken ill against Sylvia. Except the fact that I don't like Rishma treat you. Look. One thing I understand is, no matter how you love someone, just let the person go. But if the person is meant for you, it's going to come back to you. Hi, Richard. Hi. Richard, may I see you for a minute? What are you up to this time? How what game mean? are you trying to play? What are you talking about? Oh, please. Don't pretend you don't know what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? That guy you were seated with is serious. Oh, that please. We are just having a decent conversation. Period. Are you this me? What? Jesus. Mean what? What are you thinking? What? Rita, leave that guy alone. Not for your own guy. What's what wrong with it? you? What's wrong with you? I you're just having a decent conversation. He's oh. my friend. I can't believe you're just a beauty without You brains. know what? Believe whatever you want to believe. Richard is my friend, period. Leave that guy. Leave him alone. No, don't say I do not want. Ah, idiots. You disgust me. Oh, um, I'm sorry, sir. I, I'm sorry for my dressing. I actually came to work with my white girl and I didn't want it to get stained. That's why I'm wearing this. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh well, um, that, uh, that, that, that still doesn't explain why you should be dressed like this. Oh, believe me, I'm sorry. I thought maybe she might like it. That's why I'm... Uh, um, Sylvia, Sylvia, this is a married couple's house, right? So that means you should apply some decency in whatever you do here. Okay, I, I won't forget that. It's just that I thought maybe you would like it. Uh, please. I won't forget that. Yeah, just now. Uh, 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 did you tell her I was, I, I was in? No, I told her that you went out. Alright, what are you looking at? Get, get, get out, get out, get out from me. 
Wow, that was one route you want, babe. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you like it. Yeah. Because it's gonna cost you more. I don't understand. Yeah, darling. What we just did is raw, skin to skin, without condoms. That's what I mean. All right. at the back. Okay. There we go. Thank you. So you know what, um why don't I pay you some more money? You know, let's say about 600,000, so that um, our love making would just be a phone call away. Hmm. Darling, your pocket is my command. about to take a shower? No, I, I'm just coming to work and I was beaten by me. Oh, yo, Colin. Okay. I, sorry, I just want to help you. Oh. You like what you see? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> hey, what's wrong? Huh? So tell me, what am I getting in your time? Like what? Check for fifty thousand. Ah, uh, all right, fine, you get it. Mm -mm. Give it to me first. Hey, hey I just told you. Mm -mm. you get it. I want it first. Oh, okay. oh. Ah. All right, all right. Uh, oh. What? Sylvia, what, what are you doing here? You, what are you doing here, Richard? I, 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 I actually work here as a waiter. I, I started working for the past two weeks. My God, as a waiter, you lack ambition. Ah, uh -uh. um, Sylvia, see, you, you understand. Job, job is so scarce in this in this city. I was even lucky to get this one. Hmm. A lazy man always counts himself lucky, even when he's a sweeper. Please. Um, um, 
Who, who brought you here? Did you come with Pascal? Who is Pascal? Excuse me, I brought myself. You brought yourself to this place. Here that the cheapest food is 5,000 naira. Sylvia is a woman with vision. Come, why am I even explaining to you, Seth? Can I have the menu or do you want me to tell the manager how you lost your last job? And why are you looking at me like that? Manager? Sorry, ma'am. Let me have shrimps, um, um, Chinese fried rice, and shop man. Move. Why are you looking at me? What will you drink? Shop man, are you deaf? Yes, ma'am. It makes no difference, okay? Whatever circumstances you're going through right now, it's just for a while. I don't have a problem with you being a waiter at all. Hey, Rita. Rita, thank you very much. You see, any time you talk to me, I, I, I feel so encouraged. <laughs> you see, may God bless you. God will bless you. You're such a nice person. You're welcome, okay? And I want you to know that whatever you're going through right now is a stepping stone to your greatness. Okay. Rita. God will bless you. God will show um, What? <laughs> so that you're touching me if my manager comes. <laughs> um, so, so, so um, I, are you going to wait for me? You want me to wait? Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, don't worry, don't worry. I'll go. No, no, don't, don't go. I, I want you to stay. But if my manager comes and you're not drinking with our, let me go and get you Minara. <laughs> uh, I'll get you Fanta. Okay. Uh, please, uh, okay. we'll just wait here. I'm, I'm coming now. now. <clears throat> Sylvia, my husband told me how efficiently you managed my house in my absence. I was just doing my job. <laughs> I know that you are just doing your job. But I'm a lady that likes to appreciate hard work. I'll be giving you a check for 50,000 naira today. It's a way of saying thank you and showing my appreciation to you. Wow, Madam, God will bless you for me. I appreciate. You're welcome. Appreciate. You're welcome. Um, one more thing, Sylvia. Do you, do you in any way have a reason to suspect that my husband cheated on me in my absence? Um, I don't know. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes, ma. Because I, um, I read somewhere in a magazine that um, when your husband stopped making love to you, then he's getting it from somewhere. Hey. So I'm really bothered. <laughs> Sylvia, you, you're trembling. Are you okay? Yeah. Um, it's just that um, I have a little cold. Oh, you have cold and you dress like this? I mean, you're not properly dressed, Sylvia. God, you're not helping yourself. I would just go and get my sweater. I think you should. Don't worry, run along. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. congratulations. Uncle, thank you very yeah. much. Uncle, see, it's, it's, it's like I'm, I'm dreaming. Uncle, I never knew that I could make it to the UK. Uncle, I'm so happy. Thank, thank you very much, Uncle. That is the will of God for you. Richard, sit down, let me talk to you. <coughs> Um, Richard, you are my little sister's only child, and I want the best for you. Yeah, okay. Richard, I want you to get married before you leave the country, so that once you are settled down over there, your wife will join you. Um, but Uncle, I don't have any woman in my life right now. That is no problem. We start looking for one immediately. I'll be the happiest man if you marry for travel. Okay. I'll try my best. Please. I promise I'll try. Once again, congratulations. Let's go for some pain. <laughs> Let's go to the bar. If you 
Madam Vivian, it's me, Sylvia. I'm sorry I cannot come to work today. Yes, I'll go to the hospital later. Thank you very much, Ma. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to inconvenience you by my presence, but I came here to inform you that I won the visa appeal. So, what? Sylvia, I still love you. Are you mocking me? Um, no. How can I mock the love of my life? Sylvia, my uncle is insisting that I get married before I travel. But how can I be married to a woman I don't know nor love? Sylvia, you have been the only woman in my life. The only woman I have ever known. Sylvia, I want you to come back to my life, please. Sylvia, come back to my life and marry me. Deep down in my heart, I know we're meant to be together. Please, Sylvia. Richard, right now, I have a lot on my head. Why not come back in the evening? I have to think. Sylvia, let's go. Hi. Oh, it's always like this. Doctor, please help me. Get rid of this pregnancy. I beg you, please. Silver, you knew how you suffered the last time you tried this. For God's sakes, in my hospital alone, you've done over 20 abortions. I knew you must have visited other hospitals for the same abortion. If you try this, you will die. Doctor, please, this pregnancy is not wanted. I don't want it. I, I just want you to do whatever you can do within your powers to remove Save it. Please. If you want to risk another abortion, that is entirely your choice. Go to another hospital. Do it. Alright? But I pity the doctor that will do that. Alright? Okay. Let's do one. Do what? Okay, let's... Before you remove... Leave me alone! Please, no. You, you've... God, you've lost it. God. Please. See, let me tell you, I don't want to be hung for mother. All right? I don't want to... I don't want to get into trouble. I'm a trained gynecologist. I know what I'm talking about. If you try this, you will die. You know, I missed you so, so much since my wife came back. Oh, really? Wait, wait, wait. Look at you. Just turn around for me. Turn around. Oh, Jesus. You look, you look fab. You know, we can actually, we can actually just, just do one right now. That's why you're not too fast, please. Um, I'm just, I went to what? the hospital uh -huh. earlier on today and um, the doctor gave this to me for you. For me. Oh, 
it. You pregnant? Yes. For you. For me? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh Christ. Sylvie, you must be joking. Look, I am a married man. Oh, really? Yeah. Good. Fine. You are just realizing that you are a married man. I actually brought this result to you so you can glance at it and digest it. So we can meet at our usual place and talk about it. Hmm? Don't worry about it. I have a photocopy of that. Yeah, um, Sylvia, um, Vivian told me you called in sick, but still I didn't invite you to my office, so what are you doing here? Okay, take a look at this. Take. Pregnancy test? Yes, I am pregnant for you. Out of your mind. What's wrong with you? What, what, what's this? D didn't you, you know, charge me extra for, 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 what did you call it, touching body? And, and I paid you? I mean, that's the more reason why you should have taken care of yourself. You know I'm married. And that is more reason why you should pay five million naira to me so you can keep it away from your wife. Five what? Five million naira. Pay me five million naira, then I get rid of this pregnancy and. Get the hell out of your life. Darling, you need to think about it. Oh, do you want to risk your marriage? God, why should this be happening now? Now that I have almost lost all the money I have to my suppliers in Japan, how in the name of God did I get myself involved in this devil? I beg you God, please don't let her ruin my marriage. Please. Richard, are you serious about what you told me earlier on today? Sylvia, I brought you this engagement ring. And I'm putting it in your hand as a symbol of love. Sylvia, will you marry me? Richard, your uncle is not going to be happy about this, you know. Besides, anyone who loves you as a son will not want you to get married to me. It's impossible. We can't get married. Sylvia, anybody who loves me will not deny me my happiness. You're the only woman I have known. You're the only woman I have ever loved. And you're the only woman I can take as a wife. Please, Sylvia. Richard, I have wronged you so many ways. I wronged you deeply, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I love you. Mm. Uncle, I'm, I'm deeply sorry for everything that has happened. Richard, 
What are you doing with this lot of a girl? Uncle, she's the only woman I have ever loved. And we just reconciled and she has agreed to be my wife once again. Have you shown her the invitation letter to UK? I brought her here to seek your consent to our marital plans. <laughs> Richard, all my life I've seen so many foolish men, but I've never seen such a combination of stupidity and foolishness in one single man. But today I see it in you. I'm so disappointed. And you, Sylvia, or whatever you call yourself. I once gave you my consent to your so-called marital plans. But unfortunately, you threw it back at my face. I don't give consent twice. I do it only once. So I will never again give it. So, young girl, please, I beg you in the name of whatever you worship, leave my compound now. Oh, we cannot just tell her to live like that now, eh? Richard, if this Lord don't leave my compound now, you will regret knowing me in the next five minutes. Richard, come back and go to your room. What? Richard, I said go back to your room. Why? Why? Richard. Richard. You know what? I'm going to give you 300,000 naira to get that thing out of your tongue. Go and abort it. Do you understand? How dare you insult me? How dare you? You think I'm that cheap, right? You think so? What, what am I even saying? You know what? I don't even know you. You understand? I don't even know who is responsible for that thing in your tummy. You understand me? I'm not giving you a dime. I'm not giving you a cover. I'm not giving you a fadden. You can go as far as hell is. Do you understand me? Go. Not so fast, darling. Not so fast. Maybe you should listen to this. Sorry, I have other recordings of that and I also have the photocopies of those check you have been given to me in this house to have sex with me. So you see, I am not only going to blackmail you, you have only one month to pay five million naira into my account. Oh, darling, I will so ruin you. Silver, first of all, I want to apologize for causing such inconvenience for you. The truth of the matter is you are not causing me any inconvenience. I, the first um, motive was for me to be your wife. What? <gasps> Sylvia, are you crazy? Huh? I mean, do you want to ruin my marriage? You, you know what Senator Douglas will do to me? He'll just kill me. What? Are you nuts? I am surprised you're not adding um, Senator Douglas, throwing you back to the street where you belong. Oh, God. Wait, 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 Sylvia. What's this all about? Money, right? It's all about marriage. I want to marry you. Get your filthy hands off me. Now, let me advise you. Drop this. All right, just drop this. Just, just about this, this trash you have in you. Because if you're trying to raise any scandal against me, I will so, so deny you that my wife and the whole world will think you're just a mere gold digger, and you will lose. Bravo! You're not as smart as I was expecting. You know, you have forgotten you have been giving me check to have sex with me. I have the photocopies of everything we had together. I have all the photocopies of the check you have been giving to me, and. Maybe you should listen to this. The conversation, the sweet words you were saying to me when we were making love. I thought you said you loved me, darling. P 
no, 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 Sylvia, wait, 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 don't, don't go, don't go. Why are you doing this to me? Why? You have just one month to pay five million naira into my account, or I let the hell loose. <laughs> so when are you going to work today? Baby, I've resigned. I'm no longer working. You resigned the job you just got some few months ago? Baby, I need energy. I need time to take care of this relationship. You know, I, I don't really want anything to destroy this time out. I understand the morale body you, your current in this relationship in the past few months. <laughs> but babe, if you know how much I love you, you, you will not bother yourself in, with, 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 with all those things. Honey. You just have to walk. Honey, if your uncle finally accepts me, as I wish, we will no longer have time to prepare for our wedding. Okay? Besides, I need all energy to take care of you. Hmm? Mommy, how would I be cooking for you today? You want to cook for me? What is wrong with you? Are you not my husband? Go away. But what if I say I don't want food? So what do you want? This? <laughs> this is that what you want? Ah well, I think <laughs> if I feed on you, that would be the best thing I can eat. Mm. Because I can get tired of oh, yeah. feeding on all this. Oh, Christ. I'm still begging my father-in-law to help me raise more money to finish executing the contract he gave to me. And, and now this. Oh, I mean, where the hell am I going to raise five million naira to pay Sylvia off and avert this disaster that is staring me in the face right now? Oh, God damn it. I can't return to the misery that was my life before I met Nelly. I can't. Why did you reject the call? Baby, it's Naomi. I don't know why she wouldn't let me be. What does she want? She wants me back. But I've told her time without number to leave me alone. She wants to be controlling my life, which is not possible. And you rejected the call? Yes, in fact, baby, I want to put this phone off. Is that what you want? Yeah, that's what I want. Baby, I want to take care of you. But I want to forget about this phone call and let's go in and do a picking. No, let's get it. Nerves. This stupid girl switched off the phone on me again. I mean, <laughs> what's up with this girl? Babes, are you sure? I mean, you have no idea why this girl would just stop working without notifying us? What kind of question is that? What are you implying? Sweetheart, I'm not implying anything. I mean, I'm just of the opinion that she, I mean, she has not been at work for the past five days. And she didn't even tell nobody. I'm worried. I'm just curious. That's all. Um, well, I, 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 I don't know too. I, I, I think it's time you find a replacement for her. And, and this time it should be a man. I don't mean to insult your sensibility, but you see, men are less intuitive and are likely to stay uh, on jobs that, than, than women. I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. This is just very annoying. It's just so freaking annoying. Um, um, babe, what are you still doing here? dressed like this by this time, shouldn't you be off to work? Sweetheart, it's Saturday. It's Saturday, baby. Oh. Okay. I forgot. Why did you choose this place? Uh, well, choice. Hmm, I see. So, do you have my money? Uh, <sighs> Sylvia, that's exactly why I called you here. Look, I don't have that kind of money. 
right? And I, I don't see myself being able to raise that kind of money within the, the short period it gave me. It, it's not possible. In other words, you are asking me to do my worst. No, 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 no. Look, what I'm Listen, what I'm saying is this. Please take one million now, okay? Or at least give me give me some time, like six months. Let me be able to raise the money. Hell no. I am taking nothing less than five million now. Oh, Christ. For Christ's sake, Sylvia, can't you just be reasonable? I mean, come to think of it, I, I can't remember offending you. Why, why, why are you doing this to me? Ten days is already gone. See, don't even try playing games with me, okay? Because if you do, you will never smile for the rest of your life. What are you guys looking at? Huh? With you? You've been acting moody throughout the day. I mean, for a week now you've been acting very moody. You've been very moody and absent-minded. What is the problem? Uh, is it a contract? Contract? Nah, nah, hell no. The contract is moving smoothly. Yeah, the money your father lent me last week is enough to see the contract through. Then what is eating you up? Is it Sylvia? Sylvia? Yes, yeah, Sylvia. Um... Uh, I, 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 what? Why, why, why would you say that? Because she started acting very moody shortly after she left this house. I told you that I that I am pregnant. I mean, you didn't even change your mood. You just you yeah, stopped. Uh, 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 I mean, okay, like okay. this. What is the problem? Like you've been acting up. Sweetness, I am. Pregnancy should be a good news to you, baby. Yeah, What's the case? You're still the same yeah. mood. Uh, okay, come here, come here, come here, baby. Come, come, come. Oh, my creamy, creamy sugar. I am fine. Okay? Uh, oh, all right. I was, um, I was actually meditating, you know, like praying silently before you came in, but I am fine. And I promise you, I will never give you cause to worry about my mood again, okay? I promise, baby. I am fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, I'm that's fine. it. I want my lovely husband to take moi to a restaurant to have dinner. Uh, 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 <laughs> the baby's hungry. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm hungry too. Yeah, mm. I, love I love you. I love you more. I love you more. No, I love you more. I love you more. I love you more. Why are you so cool? What? What is it? What I have good it? news for you. But I want you to guess. I can guess anything. I you can't, can't guess. guess. I got my visa. Hmm. Really? <laughs> Maybe look at it. It is stamped. Stamped. I'm mm. traveling, I'm telling you. Mm. How are you not happy now? Huh? What do you expect me to be happy, you know? Are you okay? I wasn't feeling well today and I went to the hospital. The doctor confirmed that I'm pregnant. You're what? Pregnant. God! It's a lie. You're what? Pregnant. God! Come, come. <laughs> Why are you pregnant? Your boy. My boy is here. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, 
to see him come out. I'm telling you. <laughs> I feel like sleeping now. Come on, let's go in and sleep. So, Richard, when I plan to leave the country, as soon as I put things in order, put this in order, yes, Uncle. I'm sure you're not planning to marry that beast called Sylvia. Because if you do, I'm not going to be part of your wedding arrangement. Neither will John. In fact, I will personally destroy you. That's a new development. What new development? You've seen a new girl. Sylvia is pregnant. Jesus Christ. Your silence is the last time we met. Tells me you are calling my bluff. Is that not correct? No, Sylvia. Please. I, I really do love my wife. Then pay me my money. Sylvia, I actually wanted to call you to explain things to you, to tell you I don't have that kind of money now. But if you just give me one month, I will give you this money. Trust me. That means you don't love your wife enough. Look, I've never said that. Please. Look, I, it's just... It's, it's just one week to the expiration deadline. Don't mess with me. Huh. The proposal you gave me to type is ready, sir. And you have a visitor, sir. Shut up. I'm sorry, sir, but... Look, would you just drop the fucking file on the table and get out of my sight? Elvis, I don't see the reason why you are getting upset with your secretary instead of getting upset with me. And what are you doing in my office? I came to remind you that you only have one week to pay off my oh, money. Christ. Sylvia, I am going crazy. I'm going crazy. I mean, just, just look at me. Please, I beg you, just... I Alice, swear to you, I... You swore to your wife at the altar. And barely six months, this is already happening. And I hope you're not expecting me to listen to this, your cheap lies. I only came to tell you that. You should pay me my money. Or, do you know what's going to happen? Your father-in-law... Who hear it? Listen, listen, listen. Sylvia, look, look, Sylvia, wait. Look, all, all I'm asking for is just more time. It's past midnight and you brought in. Maybe I said there's no problem, okay? <laughs> Sweetheart, I can recognize a problem when I see one. What's up? <sighs> oh my baby, there is a problem. Yeah. Okay, alright. Uh, look, I, I need five million naira to get myself hooked on a very lucrative business deal. And I don't have the money now. Alright, and if I lose out on this deal, I will not be happy at all. Baby, you will be happy, okay? I'll make you happy. Are you saying you're going to help me raise the money, huh? Baby, the last deal you had, you transacted so much money to Japan. You know, I gave you like almost everything I had left in my account. <laughs> Yes, baby, I know, I know. Okay, but, but you see, my love, the goods in question will not be here until two months. That's a long time. I can't wait. I know. All right. Okay, okay. How about you facilitating a loan for me from your bank? No, mm, baby, that's, that's way out of it too because we're already at the end of the bank here. We are, and right now our auditors they're already at work and such transaction cannot happen. Please. What is this happening now, man? Oh. Listen, it's okay, please. Listen, 
with or without that deal, you're still going to be what you ought to be. Please. Baby, you wouldn't understand. Yes, I do. I understand, darling. Oh, God, God. Come on, please cheer up. Let's go to sleep, baby. Come on. We need to sleep. Come on, darling. It's okay. Silvia, I suggest we perform the marital rites with your kinsmen and later proceed to the church for a quiet morning mass wedding. God forbid. How can you say a thing like that? Eh? Come, did you watch the videotape of my stepsister's wedding? It was actually grand. A big one. Don't ever say a thing like that. How can you be expecting me to do a, a small wedding? There is no one that will have the kind of money your stepsister husband has that would not want to do a grand wedding. But in my own case, I don't have such money. So, what do I do? Okay, don't worry. I have money to take care of the kind of wedding I want. I don't know how much you have. But believe me, you're going to need that money after this wedding. I don't know how long it's going to take me for me to break through when I get to London and start sending money back home. So you and my baby need that money. Look, I know all that, okay? I know I am not stupid. See, my dad has accepted to loan you some money and you can actually pay back when you arrive UK. Don't worry about that. I will just take care of it. Your dad has agreed to loan us the money. And how much? Don't worry, I will tell you next week. You tell me next week. Yeah. So you mean your dad has not given you the money? I mean, you don't even have the money. And you finish spending it. What is your problem? I said it shouldn't worry. Besides, my family is planning a grand wedding for us. Okay? So forget it. You don't have the money. Keep quiet. Just watch. The money will come out. Your family are planning the wedding for us. But it's my wedding. And I'm going to pay back. Money. You're talking too much. What's wrong with you now? You don't have money. Now people want to sponsor your wedding for you. You're still talking. They're planning my own wedding. And I don't have any say. God. So, she tell you how she's going to raise the money by next week. No, but she's not tell me. So what are you going to do? I I don't really know, but she's carried my baby. That is the more reason you have to hold your ground. You have more advantage than her by now. Her parents are preparing for a grand traditional and church wedding. And when we discussed, she's not ready to compromise, Uncle. <laughs> are you going to play that along with her? With just 80,000 naira in your account. It's laughable. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. You don't know? Uh, that is the old song, Uncle. I don't know. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> you don't know. You are along with her. Oh, you find her. Don't know. I'm going to resign from the restaurant job once I get my pay for the month. Of course, you have to. We don't have time for wedding planning. Of course, and all hands have to be on there. I'm going to raise the money. I don't know how, but I just wanted to keep it. Okay? I trust you. I'll make it. Hello? Hello, Elvis? Yes. I am calling you to remind you that the deadline is tomorrow. And I am damn serious about carrying out my threats. Oh, oh, oh. look, I, I told you. Listen, I... I... Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Oh, God damn it. Hello, Steve? Yeah. Meet me at Sensational Hotel by 12 noon tomorrow. Room 402. Yes, come with the whole money, or I start the evil reign. Honey? 
<laughs> some some crazy friend of mine. You know, the, the, the guy, some guy that did that, 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 that what? I mean, what sort of friend is making you so nervous on the phone like this? Look at you. You're sweating. Why? Look, the guy is some crazy ass dude, believe me. Look, I, I've told him to stop pestering me. He wants to see me, he wants to see me. I've told him. I believe that you're alone. Are you owing him? Owing him? Are you? Hell no. <laughs> oh, cre creamy sugar, you, you know I can lie to you, baby. If I find out that you lied to me, I will not forgive you. And I will make you hate me. If I'm wrong, you tell me so, all right? This guy has had a mood since we met him today. Boy, what is going on? Me is growing up. Bro, you got me there. You got me, you know? Oh, Christ, I, I'm just going crazy. Seriously, I'm, I'm going, oh. You know, we've not met for quite a while now, and I shouldn't be telling you guys this, but I just have to let it out. Come on, talk. I'm listening, guys. Uh, uh, okay, okay. I, I cheated on my wife. <laughs> no, 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 no. You see, you see that? That's exactly why I didn't want to say this. Like, my, guys, my. No, wait, 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 wait. You see why? <laughs> no, wait. Seriously, seriously. Wait. Oh, please, don't, don't do this. Okay, don't all right, all right. Just okay, listen. Okay. Let me, right, let me, listen. Let me finish listen. Okay, right? I'm listening. Don't laugh. No, no, no. Okay, it's. I did this with my domestic staff, and that's not even the problem. The issue is that she is black, Benny me, and Jesus, man, I don't have the kind of money she's asking me for. I don't have it. I have to come out now because this is a bizarre coincidence. Yes, I, I did cheat on my own wife, and the girl in question is asking me to give her five million naira before noon today. What? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. That's exactly the same amount this, this crazy girl is asking me for. Five million naira. Are you for real? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Married man. Oh, shit. Wait, wait, bro, you're not, you're not in the same with her. No, 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 no. Ah. No, my, my, my fiance is actually pregnant for me. But the problem there is, she, she, she's asking me to do a grand wedding. And I don't have that kind of money. You know, I, I don't know. It's very simple. I mean, you just wait, postpone the wedding until you're ready. She says she's going to sponsor the wedding. I don't know where she's going to get the money from. And she has not told me where she's going to get the money from. But she had already told her family to go ahead with the preparations. You know. But guys, wherever, man, whether they do the wedding or she gets the money, next month, guy, I'm jetting out of this country. Oh, oh ch chill, chill. You're planning to run away? What for? <laughs> no, no. You see, I just got my British visa. You know, I'm going to hang out with my cousin out there. You know, but uh, the problem there is. 
world is so beautiful. Yes, yes. You know, and and I'm I'm scared someone's going to take it away from me. You know, <laughs> so I want to make sure I do the wedding before I leave. Guys, you need to see this girl. You know the kind of chicks you used to carry back in school now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, you know, master. I sure. learned something from you. This girl is sweet. Are you serious? Okay. Let me see. I don't sleep at night. I can just look at the picture. Check out now. Check out my cheek. <laughs> <Check out my cheese. laughs> Do you guys know her? No, uh, no, 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 not at all, not at all. She's beautiful. No, yeah, 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 I'm telling you, I'm actually very impressed. You know, you've got you taste. Got taste man. No, 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 I got to. I took the after for it. The master's to master for you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, man, I'm so impressed with you. Um, barman, please, some more when we're done, okay? Uh, yeah. Okay, let me just take a leak first. All right. All right, cool. Romeo. <laughs> Guy, man, I did learn something from you. I you know, know, I know, I know, I know. Stay here. Yeah. Same girl. Same girl. <laughs> Your house manager. Yeah. That's the same job she was doing in my house. You know what? Let's prepare for a show now. Are you game? Only you can just stop talking about your friends, I'll be fine. But, babe. This calls for us to be happy. At least I won't depend on your parents to sponsor our wedding any longer. I don't know. I have heard it, please. I have told you to stop worrying yourself. I see. <laughs> this thing is going to affect our baby, you. And don't let it affect it, okay? You don't really understand, honey. You don't. See, I don't know. I don't know. I just wish the money could just come right now. Are you trying to say you don't like the idea that my friends are going to sponsor this wedding for us? No, it's not what you think, okay? So what is it? Okay. Are you going to hang out with me, my friends and their wives? At least it's, it's been long we, we went out together. This would be an opportunity for us to go out together. Okay. No problem. You just get a place where you and your friends can wait for me. Then I will come and meet you guys on my way back for my international appointment. Okay. I don't want you to worry yourself. Okay? I believe so. Don't believe, just it's okay, that's gonna happen. Mm -mm. You'll see, I promise. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Don't get dressed up. Okay. I just can't say that soon. I said it before, and I'm saying it again. That girl is pressurizing you just to destroy your life. I beg you, Richard, please go to England and be useful to yourself. Please. Uncle, how can I go to England and forget the woman that is carrying my child? My first child, for that matter. You are not the first person to do so. <laughs> Richard, you have a future, and I bet you that girl Sylvia is not part of that future. Uncle, I owe that child she's carrying a fatherly duty. I agree with you. Now, how do you raise the money for the kind of grand wedding she's uh, expecting? Uh, uncle, I, I don't oh, know. Oh, there you go. There you go again. Uncle, I don't know.
Yeah, honey. Honey, how are you? I'm all right. The, 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 the outing is quite interesting. You know, we've, we've, we've been expecting you. Where are you? Oh, my God. I forgot. You told them I'm, I I went for my antenatal, right? Honey, yes, I did. And they all um... send their good wishes to you. But they weren't excited because they wanted to meet with you one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, I'm so sorry. Maybe next time. S Silver, I don't understand you. I, I don't understand you. Next time. Baby, I'm, I'm weak now. Don't you know how pregnant it is? It's not my fault that I'm weak. Okay, it's pregnancy mood swings. I'm sorry. And you're saying next time? Next time? Honey, I, I, are you trying to tell me that you hate my friends this much? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Yeah, baby. See, I've not even met with your friends and you're telling me that I'm already hating them. I don't know them. I've not met them. Please. Swing bullshit. I, 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 I just don't get it. So... What am I going to tell Steve and, 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 and Elvis? Baby, tell them. Tell them I'm sick. Of course you know I'm sick. To spoil my, 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 my... Can I... Uh, so, Richie boy, tell me, um, how are you and your fiancé preparing for my wife's uh, birthday? Then no. I don't know how to put it to you guys, but she's refusing to be part of it. <laughs> and what could be her reason? Um, she said it has to do with um, pregnancy mood swing. And I, I just couldn't agree with her on that, you know. Uh, Steve, I don't know how your wife is going to take this. Uh, no, seriously, um, <laughs> I, I don't know how to explain it to her myself because um, how can, you know, myself and my wife be co-sponsors of a wedding and we don't know the bride to be? Yeah. Um, st Steve. Hey, me too. Uh, Elvis, please. Uh, please. You guys cannot just leave me like this now. I mean, that, that's the way it is, my brother. Come on. Here is the list you requested from my parents. Take it away. Why? What happened? What is going on? What is what happened? Huh? My friends have agreed to sponsor our wedding, and I have not formally introduced you to them, and you're asking me... But, mm -hmm. Richie, you know it is not my fault. Sylvia. It's not your fault, but Cutsy demands that I introduce you to them. Okay, what do you want me to do? Okay, this is what we're going to do. One of their wives is having a birthday party. It would be a big opportunity for me to introduce to all of them there. I don't know, if I, I don't know, please. Um, Sylvia. Forgive me. I beg you, please. I'm sorry, Sylvia. Our decision is irreversible. Please forgive me. I know I've wronged you. Forgive me. There is nothing else I want in this world than to marry Richard. I want to be his wife. Oh, really? Since when? Huh? You mean since he secured a visa to travel to England? Or when? So, you see how it feels to be blackmailed. I mean, you now see how we felt when we were blackmailed, right? Okay, I don't want the money again. You guys can keep the money. Just that I don't want to give birth. I don't want to have this baby out of wedlock. It's a disgrace. My family are going to throw me out. Please, I beg you in the name of God. I beg you. I beg you. Well, you've always been the smart ass, right? So you figure it out yourself. But one thing, is for sure. We intend to get our pound of flesh. Okay. 
can I give it to both of you one more time free of charge? You mean like you give it to us here and now willingly? Free of charge. Get out of my office. I said, stand up and get out. I said, leave. Stand up and leave. Get out. God, what have I gotten myself into? If this wedding is ever called off, my second name would become disgrace. How can I ever stop that from happening? If I survive this, God, I will serve you for the rest of my life. I swear, I will become born again. God, please help me. Please. This is the doctor I told you about. Hi, doctor. So, how is it with you? Doctor, I don't know. I don't know. Honey, could you please give us some time to talk? I should do what? Give us some time. Why? Uh, why don't you give us some time, Richard? Uh, Richard let me attend to her. Okay. Are you sure you're going to be okay? Mm. Okay. Uh, uh, doc, please. Please just take your hands. I will. I'm sick. What? I want you to tell me. No, no, no. I am sick. Come on, do whatever you want. What are you trying to do? Whatever you wish to do with me, that's what I want you to do. What, what, what are you trying to do? Talk to make love to me. That's make what love I need. To you? Yeah. Let's do a quick No, 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 no. Come on. How, how can I make love to you? You, you? You're indeed sick. I mean, I don't need to have sex with you before I tell him so. Don't, don't, don't forget to tell him that I'm sick. You're, you are such a nice man. You are indeed sick, I can see. What? Are you planning to go anywhere with her today, Richard? Um, yes, Doc. And where is that? Um, a friend's wife's birthday party. You see, I, I don't know what she is afraid of. But you see, obviously, she doesn't want to go out with you. She told me that herself. Doctor, are you sure of what you're saying? I, I mean, the lady inside that room is very strong and healthy. Goodbye. Are you sure she's, she's okay? Very strong and healthy. Sylvia, what was I you did? Why did you make me go through all what I went through today? Why did you make me to go and get a doctor when you know you're feeling fine? And you came here to tell the doctor that you're not ready to go out because you don't want to go out with my friends. Sylvia, do you hate my friends that much? Who hates your friends? Hey, how dare you let that out of your mouth? How dare you bring in that quack? to come here to say some kind of things about me and you actually believe him. Okay, if you think what he was saying was true, why not just bring him in here so he can say it in front of me? Why should I call him back? That person you brought in here was not a doctor. You know what he did? He seduced me, he was trying to kiss me, he did so many things. He did what? He did it. So why is he lying? And you, you actually believe him. Oh my God, you wouldn't have. You know me very well, Richard. You know what I can do. I am not that kind of person. Why should I be lying? Why? I am not in any position to dispute what you said about that so-called doctor. But one thing is very clear. You don't look like someone that is sick. All of a sudden, you just, you just, you just got so, so activated. And you say you're sick. Child, now that I'm sick, 
I don't want to go out with your friends. I want us to stay alone. I like privacy. Let's do it our own way. Let's forget about your friends. We don't need them. So that you mean you're okay. You did all the things because you just don't want to go out with me and my friends. Mm. A surprise for you. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm going to take you somewhere you're going to love very, very much. I mean, somewhere no man can take you to. Okay. And I know you're going to love that place because it's very, very private. So, baby, let me go quickly and change into something sexy. Mm? So, you knew you were going to dress sexy and you were sitting here acting sick so we please go and wear something more sexier than i think <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. But, but, but you know seriously seriously this this, this guy was some crazy dude <laughs> that's what oh, i was talking about you, you see him mm -hmm. he was a romeo, was a romeo. No, i'm telling you this guy no, asked no, no, no. every single girl in my class out hey hey no 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 no, 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 you know, you know, you know. Are you no. serious? No, seriously, you know, I was, I was a fly, I was a fly guy, you know. <laughs> you know, I had the chicks all around me, man. <laughs> but I'm a change man. I know. You have me. I know. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, no, yeah I, I think we should um, have a toast, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? True, true. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Oh, 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 easy, I can easy. Uh, no, I can, no, I can do this, I can, easy, easy. I can, I can slow do down. this. <laughs> slow down, slow down. All right, all right, I got you, I got you, I got you. All right, okay, all right, okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Easy, easy, yeah. easy, easy. Okay. Um, I, um, <laughs> I want to make a toast. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. To success, baby. Okay. Yeah. To happiness. Okay. <laughs> and to fabulosity. That's yeah. right. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. <laughs> okay. I, I think you should go next. Hey, come on, man. Look. This is my wife's birthday. Okay, you should accord me the respect and shoot first. That's right. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. All right, all right. Yeah, it's baby, a, go it, do it's your a, thing. It's okay. I got I yeah, got baby. I got this. Got it. All right. Uh, oh, Jesus, man. I can feel my freaking <laughs> legs. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel my legs. Yeah, I understand, Daddy. All right, but it's okay. Together. I got this, man. I got it. I got it. Yeah, baby. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh my world. Okay, you know. <sighs> you know, seriously, I'm not I'm not really um, good at doing this, okay? But the situation calls for it, so uh, I'm going to say a few things about her. All right? I want to give it up for the woman who has been taking very good care of my dude here. That's right, that's right. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Easy, easy. To that elegant. Oh. I was actually talking to my woman. To the elegant too. woman who defines or how do I put it? Brings a new meaning to womanhood. Yeah. I salute you, baby. Oh, Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can't stretch right now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> baby. Mm. Mm. Yeah, 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 this is my turn, yeah. okay? Yeah. All right. <coughs> Baby. I love you. <laughs> to you. All right, okay. All right, I'm cutting my cake. All right. Uh, you're just going to hold this one like um, some <coughs> gear to life, huh? Yeah, that's so, right, honey. To love. Uh, can I make your wish, baby? Please? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, baby. Mm. 
I just made my wish. All right. I can tell you guys. Bingo, <laughs> bingo, 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 bingo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Silva, where have you been? I've been looking for you. Yeah, where have you been? You know her? Yeah, I mean, of course, that's our housekeeper. <laughs> wait, wait, um, she was your housekeeper? Yeah. <laughs> she was my housekeeper. Silva, where have you been? You know what? I think it's time we propose a toast. Yeah, a toast. Yeah. Toast? Okay. Wait, wait, let's make this fun. Oh, hold on. Baby, what are we toasting to? Alright, let's Now, I want to propose this toast. Okay. <laughs> to Sylvia. Oh. Our house manager. manager. Okay. Who kept our homes clean? Yeah. Of and still try to destroy our marriage. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. I, I didn't get that fast. What, yeah. what did you just say? You? The housekeeper? Mm -hmm. oh. It's not what you think, okay? Don't. Alright, um, Mr. Steven, what's going on here? I want to know now. What's all that speech toast about? Let's, let's just stay out of the Easy. <laughs> Baby, look, um, myself and Elvis, we actually decided to come out with this, okay? I love you, and I'll never let anything come in between our marriage. What are you saying? Sylvia has actually been sleeping with my friend Richard. Yeah, I see. Elvis. me. Baby, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I had to let you know your birthday, but it's been one big but. Don't touch me. Baby, 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 baby. She, she even told me to my face. She told me that she planned everything. Look, look, baby. Everything I told you about how she seduced me, it's true. She wanted to destroy our marriage and I, I was so, 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 so foolish to have played into our evil hands. Look, baby. What Steve and I did today was to save Richard from that beast, and I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what came over me. I, I'm, I'm, I'm so ashamed of myself right now. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry. Please, I'm sorry. I, I, I can't even look. Baby, I'm sorry. Please. Shut 
It's not all your fault, all right? I had a role to play in this. You mean? I mean I let the devil loose on my husband. You know, I I haven't played my role as a wife. I mean, I, I have failed. I have failed as a woman. I have failed to run my house. I, it brought in a stranger to run my home and she ran my home and did. Listen, baby, this will never happen again, I promise you. I will enroll in a catering and home management school tomorrow. I am so sorry. I am really, really sorry. I love you. to have fallen for her antics. No. I was a bigger fool. I was married to my job in the bank instead of my husband. I was a bigger fool. What are you saying, darling? of all the challenges that I'm going to face at work, regardless of everything. Baby, I promise that I'll be there for you, for us, for this home. I'm going to be the wife that I ought to be, that you want me to be. I promise. I'm going to give all my time all my energy to make this marriage work. I will. Are you for real? Yeah. Yes. And I have better news, baby. Pregnant. What? <laughs> pregnant. I was going to tell you at the party I had. But I'm pregnant, yes. Yes, baby, it's a baby. Uh, you're, you're pregnant. Yes, darling, I'm pregnant. You're, you're pregnant. Yes, I'm pregnant. You're pregnant. Oh. <laughs> job today because of what Sylvia and her mother led me to. I I had to go and steal from my boss. Because of the two million two million naira grand wedding she's she's planning for. I, I, I don't have the money. I, I I have tried to look for the money but I, I couldn't get the money. And I, Richard. I see if Sylvia is pregnant for me. And oh my God. She, she keeps telling me lies. The, the other day, my friends, my friends promised to, to sponsor our wedding. 
and I'm, I'm begging Sylvia so we can't see them, but she has been telling me stories upon stories. I, 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 had, I had to go and get a doctor for her because she said she was sick. <laughs> not, not only to find out that Sylvia, Sylvia wanted to sleep the doctor, so oh he, he could tell me that she's not feeling fine and the doctor came out to tell Naomi, you have to talk to Sylvia. Please, you have to talk to her. Why, why is she treating this guy like this? What is this case? You? What are you doing here? It is said that every insect has its own flower. You have shown me that we're meant to be together. In Rita here, I found a soulmate. We have future together. Future. Don't let like this thing destroy what we have together. Don't let like this thing destroy what we have together. Not in my house. <laughs> Please. Richard, you can go in with your wife. Uncle, I'm changed. Uncle, I'm changed. I'm changed. Uncle, I'm sorry. Richard is my life. Richard is my life. I love him. That's the way out, young girl. Uncle, I'm changed. I'm sorry. <laughs> 